Marco Rubio slams CNN's Jake Tapper for citing anonymous sources. Senator Marco Rubio, Republican of Florida, told CNN anchor Jack Tapper how to do his job by reminding the journalist not to publicize unverified facts. I totally agree with that. Rubio appeared on CNN's State of the Union on Sunday to discuss claims that President Donald Trump obstructed justice when he fired former FBI Director James Comey. Media reports have been circulating about an alleged memo written by Comey that supposedly reveals Trump's request that Comey drop the FBI's investigation into former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Despite Tapper's obvious bias, Rubio refused to jump on the anti-Trump bandwagon. We don't know yet, Rubio said, responding to those claims. Number one, I haven't seen those notes. Number two, we have yet to take the testimony from Director Comey. Tapper cited anonymous sources who claim the president will be forced to testify in the case. But Rubio, who was Trump's former competitor during the 2016 presidential campaign cycle, stuck by the president's side and called into question the validity of anonymous sources. You say someone who knows him says, well, we're going to have him in two weeks in front of the Intelligence Committee, Rubio said. He'll be asked that question, so in two weeks we'll know a lot more. He also slammed the mainstream media for its biased reporting. The best way to get the facts out is not to litigate it in the press, but to do our work and put the report in a way that's credible. According to CNN's account of the interview, Rubio also said that he will not accept the liberal media's summary of the Comey-Trump controversy until he collects all the facts himself. I'm not disputing the press accounts, but I am also not going to accept them, Rubio noted. Watch Rubio put Tapper in his place in this video below. Let's take a quick listen at little Rubio. The U.S. Senator, do you consider this to be a, a growing body of, of evidence that the president might have attempted to obstruct justice? We don't know yet. Number one, I haven't seen those notes. Number two, we have yet to take the testimony from Director Comey. You say someone who knows him says... Well, we're going to have him in two weeks in front of the Intelligence Committee. He'll be asked that question. So in two weeks, we'll know a lot more based on the testimony that he gives under oath before the committee and the country publicly. Until then, we won't know. As far as the president's comment, that, that's always been the White House's position, that this whole thing ha is a farce. That's their position. Our job in the Intelligence Committee has been to look at this entire episode from per for the purposes of counterintelligence in particular, and, uh, and then arrive at the facts, put them out in a report, and, f and move on from there. And that's what we're in endeavoring to do in a bipartisan way. And again, the best way to do that is not to litigate it in the press, but to do our work and put the report in a way that is credible so no one can deny its credibility and no one can say that we went into it already having made up our mind. This I can tell you. Now, you see little Rubio standing up for once. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.